In this tutorial, I'm specifically going to show you how to add motion to a still video clip or photo on your Premiere Pro timeline. Now, just to make you aware, and so we're on the same page, I'm recording this lesson after I've gone through and edited my entire video. I've added music, sound effects, I've color corrected, added titles and everything. And if you wanna follow along with that process, feel free to skip to the next sections and go all the way up through exporting and then come back to this one where your sequence, if you follow along, should look like this with different tracks, different effects, different things all applied already. And also this section includes step-by-step -step tutorials to show you how to get these very specific styles. There's tools and effects and things and panels that we haven't gone into depth about yet in this course that we'll cover in more depth in the future. But hopefully these step-by-step -step lessons are still easy for you to follow along with. So if you have a sequence and you have your any B-roll clip on your sequence, go ahead and select one of those clips. And I'm gonna zoom here in here on my timeline, pressing the plus keyboard, plus button on my keyboard. So say I want to just have a slow zoom out of this shot right here. Up here in the effect controls panel, we have the motion properties where you can scale in or out. And what we need to do is animate this. We can do this with keyframes. So to do this, put your playhead either by dragging it up here in the timeline in the effect controls panel or going to the beginning of the clip here on your timeline, which you can quickly get to by hitting the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard as long as your toggle track targeting is on for the tracks where your clips are. See how if I have this off and I press up or down, it doesn't go to the clips on this track. So make sure that track is on. So now I'm at the very beginning and if I want to zoom out, I'm going to actually have to start with the scale being larger. So I'm gonna start with something like 110 and then I'm going to click this little toggle animation button which sets a keyframe here at this point in time. So it's represented by a little diamond which is a little bit hard to see, but I can actually click it and drag it over to the right for you to see what that looks like. I'm gonna undo that so it's still at the beginning of this clip. And that's telling Premiere Pro that at this point in time, I want the scale to be 110, 110%. Now I'm gonna go to the very end of my clip and change the scale to make sure I still have this video three selected, change the scale back to 100, okay? So what happens between these keyframes? If I'm telling Premiere Pro that at this point it needs to be 110 and this point it has to be 100, well between those clips, it has to animate that property from 110 to 100 and you can see that as I scrub through the timeline. Make so. delicious bread right in your own kitchen. So that's a quick way to add motion to your video. So that was a scale an animation which is going to be more of like a zoom in or a zoom out. You see this a lot, I see it anyways, on YouTube with vloggers where you do these quick sort of jump zoom ins of a freshly baked loaf of so say I want a quick little zoom in right here so I can go on this clip right here, select this talking head clip, set a scale animation right here, and then go forward and let's go to 125. Of a freshly, that was a lot slower than I wanted it to do. So I'm gonna zoom in on this timeline with this little slider down here push these keyframes together, which will speed up the animation. Freshly, that's even a little bit too much, too slow. I'm also going to select both these keyframes by clicking and dragging over them, right clicking them and choosing ease in, which is going to ramp up the motion of this effect. A freshly, so that's pretty good. A freshly baked loaf of, a fresh, the thing I don't like about this now is that it zooms in and cuts off the top of my head. So I'm going to have to adjust the position. But if I just say, okay, I'm gonna 
go here and I need to move this down, well, what happens when I go back to the original scale? The top of the video frame is off. It's not within the program monitor. It's being cut off. So I'm going to undo that. The proper way to do this is to go to the first keyframe, set an animation keyframe for position. Now go to the second one and move it down to where you want it. So now it's sort of a zoom in and a pan down. I'm going to select these, right click and choose ease in as well. A freshly baked loaf of bread. So that's pretty good. We can actually make this a little bit of a even more pronounced effect by zooming in. And I got to make sure that my playhead is exactly on that keyframe because if you see what I actually did was I set two keyframes. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to hit this arrow button, which goes to that specific keyframe. And I'm going to type in 150. These keyframes actually aren't aligned. So I'm going to take this keyframe for position, move it back so it's aligned at the playhead. I'm going to pan up just a little bit more. Freshly baked. So that's pretty cool. And now to make this even more pronounced, I would probably add some sort of sound effect. So something like a whoosh. So I'm going to add this to my sound effect track, which we covered in a future lesson all about sound effects. Let's get over to my effects controls so I can see exactly where on the timeline this is. So I can add my sound effect right there. A freshly, a freshly, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so that is how you add keyframes and animate properties. You can if you don't want to zoom in or zoom out, you can animate just the position of things and that can be like a pan across, a tilt up. That's sort of a traditional sort of Ken Burns effect, the combination of a scale and position animation, which is for photography where you do a slow zoom in, zoom out. That's how you do it in Premiere Pro. All right, I hope you liked this little style Make tip, adding little zooms outs or zooms in can really amp up the cinematic quality of your videos. We'll see you in another tutorial.